Hey there, YouTube team. Social Link here, giving you another deck profile of my Go Paladins. Um, this deck took me a while to actually complete, like pretty much a while, and been playing with it. People been telling me it's poopy with how I have what it's in here and all that, and who's my starter and all that. But I don't care. I came in first place in one of my tournaments. It's fine. It's fine. So yeah. Um, I play Liberators. Go Paladins. Uh, this is Wingo Liberator. Yes. SP again. I love the SP ness. Um, pretty much uh, when this unit boosts is a, van um, a unit um, and the attack hits, put this unit into the soul and you get the superior call of Blaster Blade from soul. But you have to have a Blaster Blade and the attack has to hit when this unit boosts. So yeah. And then I play for the heal with the new cute little puppy. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then four draws. I wanted to play six draws, six crits, but I gotta wait until the new trial deck that comes out for the Liberators. And then a total of eight crits. I really do not like this lineup, but I have to deal with it. I thought Gold Paladin was all about critting. It is, but Gold Paladins really don't have that good of a hand size. Nah. I play the Zenith build, so I have the pers um, Persona Booster type of thing. Where I return a Gansalot to the bottom of the deck from the drop zone, give a Gansalot plus 5,000. Oh. So, Flying Sword Liberator really is a good card. I like it. I was going to have it at 3, like how I did have my Jewel Knights, but I like 2 in this one because it's actually decent. Then I play 4 Little Liberator Marin, and then I play Barkle Liberator. 4 of it. Because I do play 4 Blaster Blades. And Barkle Liberator does put pressure on my opponent because if I have Blaster Blade on Vanguard, call this behind the Vanguard. It's a 7k booster no matter what. So my Ganslot Zenith will be hitting for like 20k no matter what. And where they have to drop like a 10 shield or something like that. But I boost with a Blaster Blade. Check the top 3 of my cards if the attack hits. Superior call a Gold Paladin um, Liberator, I believe. Yeah. A uh, Gold Paladin Liberator, I believe. Yeah. And then, um, but it has to be called in rest. But it has to be on an open rear guard circle, if I'm not mistaken. No, it doesn't say open. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That's... I learned stuff every day. Correcting you. Yeah. <laughs> um, then I play two Halo Shield marks. Well, two ha Liberator marks. And I play two Sword Formation Liberators. Um, ignore... The Quintet Ig Ig The Quintet Wall. I play two, two, because... I'm pro like that. <laughs> um, no, I actually like 2-2. Two -two. It's not that bad of a lineup. I've been doing decent with it and haven't had any problems with like blocking or anything like that. There has been times when I used the Quitted Walls where I have like three Grade Threes in the Quitted Walls, but the other two are two 10Ks, but it's been doing good. And it fills up um, the graveyard for me to um, with Zenith so I can use this ability I gotta clean this one and make it really good because this ability stacks a lot. So it's pretty good. And no matter what, even if I call a Halo Shield Mark with her ability, I could just discard the card and just call and use the perfect card anyway, so it's not that big of a problem. But, alright, that's it for the grade 1s. On to the grade 2s. I played 2 Liberator Royalty Phelan. Uh, the 12k attacker if you have a Liberator Vanguard. That's 4. Didn't I say 4? He you said, said two. 2. Oh, well. <laughs> My stupidity. Yeah, first he gets an English lesson, now he gets a math lesson. I don't care. I have something else on my mind, and Austin knows what it is. Um, yeah, the Tolkien attacker for Liberator. If you have a Liberator Vanguard, I love it. Then I play three of Squads. Um, pretty much when the attack hits, when this um unit attacks, counter blast one and spear called the top card of your deck. If, if it's a Gold Paladin um Liberator card, pretty good. And then I play four Blaster Blade Liberators. Um, pretty much when you call this unit to the vanguard or rear guard circle, counter blast two, retire a card in your opponent's front row. Decent. I get called on the poopy player because I play four Blaster Blades, Wingo <laughs> Liberator, and Barkle Liberator. And you know what? I don't care. I've been winning it. YOLO. No, no. <laughs> YOLO. No. Yes. No. On to the grade threes. This is going to be the normal. Four Gansalots, uh, um, four Sanctuary Liberator Gansalots. Pretty much when you ride over this with um, a grade three, uh, give 10,000 to your Vanguard and pick three units and those get plus 5,000. And then when this attack, um, when this unit attacks Vanguard, it gets um, 2,000. So it's a good 13k attacker. And then his cross ride, his cross break ride. Four Liberator Bonds, Gensalot Zenith. Um, I love this card ever since I did see it. 
Um, it is an amazing card. It does put pressure on my opponent because it does. His Limit Break is amazing. Counter Blast 1. And choose one of your rear guard liberators. That's a grade 2 or less. Put it on the bottom of the deck. Superior called a top card. And that top card gets plus 10,000 when you call it. And it gives really good pressure on my opponent. Because even if it's a trigger, 10,000 with that, that's a 15... That's a uh, 1,500. Well, 15,000 attack. Right there. So no matter what, it does put pressure on my opponent. And it's a cross ride, so it does get plus 2,000 um, uh, Gancelot's in soul. So I'm really... That's why I play 4-4. But the deck's going to get changed up a little bit when Monarch comes out with 15. But I've been having really good times with this deck. It's been pretty decent. But yeah, um, that's my deck. Hope you guys like it. Please leave comments and all on it. I don't care. Um, please subscribe too, like the video, and Team Social Link out.